From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. And good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. This afternoon, the search is ongoing for survivors after a massive building collapse in South Florida. We want to show you a live picture right now of this building. It happened overnight in Surfside, Florida, and the mayor says at least one person has died. It is still unclear how many people were in the building at the time. Officials also say there were over 100 units in the building. Now, witnesses say they felt the building shake, and then one person looked out their window to see dust in the back half of the building down on the floor. Again, you're looking at this live right now. This is a 12-story condo. We're told that it was built in 1981. All right, new this afternoon, President Biden and a bipartisan group of senators are meeting at the White House after agreeing on a deal of a $1 trillion infrastructure bill. Natalie Brand has more details about what they agreed on. Okay. Lawmakers in the White House are optimistic they've reached a bipartisan deal on infrastructure. Republicans and Democrats have come together uh, along with the White House and we've agreed uh, on a framework. White House negotiators brief Democratic leaders on the outlines of the deal Wednesday night. We'll let them announce it first. Let, let's see it. But we support the concepts that we have heard about. Republican leader Mitch McConnell says he's waiting to see the details. But with 11 Republicans in the bipartisan group, Democrats would have the votes to pass the bill without additional GOP support. In addition to the bipartisan compromise, the White House and Democrats are working on a separate budget bill that could be passed without Republican support. Whatever is in the bipartisan bill would then be subtracted from what we do next week That's it. when we go to reconciliation. Yep. Democrats say the budget bill is needed to get progressive members of the party on board with the more moderate infrastructure bill. All parties understand we won't get enough votes to pass either unless we have enough votes to pass both. They say they want to vote on both bills in July. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And again, in just the last hour, those lawmakers have reached a deal. The Democratic bill included many of Biden's priorities, including investments in child care, community college, and paid leave. It would pay for those proposals with tax hikes on corporations and the rich. All right, police in Lake County say they've recovered human remains from Flathead Lake. A human skull was found Wednesday afternoon after a call came into 911 dispatch. The report was made by operators of a gill netting boat, according to the sheriff's office, and they say that the skull was found inside of a net. The skull will be examined at the Montana Forensic Science Lab. There's a twist in an ongoing battle against the Montana Supreme Court and legislative leaders, Republican lawmakers. They're withdrawing subpoenas requesting internal court communications. They wanted to know if justices were being biased against GOP laws. Lawyers say they'll still try to negotiate the release of the documents. However, the Supreme Court says the high court should hear this case regardless. The GOP says they'll continue to look into bias in the courts. The National Bison Range is officially under the control of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes. It did take years of debate and lawsuits for the federal government to return that land to the tribes. The Fish and Wildlife Service was operating the range. Tribal officials intend to continue public access at the Bison Range. There are new numbers out surrounding the number of Montanans getting back to work as the pandemic ends. During May, the unemployment rate sat at 3.6% compared to 4.0% in January. That's more than 9% just a year ago. The labor force added more than 1,900 jobs last month, but payroll jobs declined in May. And leisure and hospitality in that industry well, it accounted for the most loss. A Carbon County man is accused of arson for starting the state's largest wildfire south of Red Lodge. 55-year-old John Lightburn is accused of riding his dirt bike in a wooded closed area. He told investigators he was trying to repair his bike and accidentally spilled gasoline. Then he's accused of sparking a fire with his bike in that area filled with dry fuels. He's facing three felonies, including negligent arson, criminal mischief, and a misdemeanor negligent arson charge. He is in custody in Gallatin County, but he's set to be arraigned in Carbon County in July. The Robertson Draw Fire has charred more than 30,000 acres and over a dozen structures have been destroyed, but 
The fire is now 53% contained. And fire crews say that they have the Crooked Creek fire burning in the Pryor Mountains now 25% contained. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. But happening tonight at 7 o'clock, fire officials will update the community on both the Crooked Creek and Robertson Draw fires. That meeting is going to be held in Red Lodge at the Roosevelt Center. That's on 17th and Broadway. All right, we're turning to Miller Robson because there's ugh, there's going to be some heat coming to the state. Ugh is a good word for it. I'll tell you, you are absolutely right. We could see back to back to back 100 degree days next week. But before we get there, we do have a bit of a cool down. So enjoy your Friday, maybe your Saturday if you can. We see temperatures across the state right now. Northern Wyoming moving west to east. 60s, 70s, 80s and already seeing some 90s. You can see we do have some rain along the high line. Also over there in eastern portions of Montana. Now we still have a chance to see some more widely scattered showers as we go along today across the state in northern Wyoming. We do have that area of low pressure not only giving us a chance of rain, but maybe some severe weather. I'll tell you where that could hit coming up here with the main forecast in just a bit. Andrea. All right, sounds good. Miller, thanks so much. We'll check in with you soon. Three environmental groups are suing the state of Montana over new laws that allow wolf trapping. The changes include allowing hunters and trappers to kill more wolves, hunt at night, and lengthen the trapping season by several weeks. Earth Justice, the Center for Biological Diversity and the Sierra Club argued the changes could kill as much as 85% of Montana's wolf population. The state has 60 days to respond to the complaint. Residents in Billings are going to have construction right at their doorstep this summer. The city is working on a major lead pipe renovation. Lead pipes, of course, banned by the EPA but there are still plenty of them being used in some of the city's older neighborhoods. So Billings Public Works is mandating to replace all of them by 2024. This work spans along Lewis Avenue to Division up to 8th Street, as well as Clark from Division to 7th Street and the College Streets. And officials say their project is about 65% complete. Historically, uh, lead pipes uh, have been known to you know, in introduce contaminants into the water. We haven't necessarily seen that. Um, but this is a precautionary measure that we take to remove those to eliminate that possibility. All right, and also happening this summer, the replacement of some major water mains in the Pioneer Park area. Along with that work, some 92 lead valves will also be replaced from homes in that area. A lot going on there. All right, there's more coming up on today's new news, including we're taking you to Hamilton, and that is where we meet a woman who is top of her trade in this particular sport. We'll have her heavy lifting story. But first, Miller is back in with a look at that statewide weather forecast.